Hello, all my lovely subjects out there. You should already know that my name is Queen Shadow, and welcome to another interview of sorts with another character. Would you mind stating your name? <clears> oh, <throat> name's Trinket. Fellow assassin, assassin of my master, and, well, I wish my other partner would ever come, but they decide, well, <laughs> they can't really speak, mate. <laughs> so I'm the one that has to speak for them, mate. <laughs> Their name's Poppet. I must say, I've never seen a creature like you before. Same thing yourself, Miss Fuzzy Tail. Why does everybody always make fun of that I'm a wolf and that I'm technically fluffy? Like skins, yeah, mate. Would be nice to see your head on a on a rug. Hmm. Oh, I'd like to see you try. You know, with that fuzzy tail, we don't have. I don't have a bloody day. I see. So, uh, who is this the master you spoke of earlier? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know, mate? Well, I'll tell you this much. He was a real asshole. Tortured us to do his bidding. After all, we were just experiments to him. Predicting if you can reanimate the dead with human souls into, well, these porcelain-like bodies. But you would know, but you would know about breaking those minds. To the breaking point, if I may say. It is quite fun to break minds until they crack. <laughs> Poppet would know, mate. Ow! Okay, naughty joke about that, Poppet. I see your friend doesn't take too kindly to stuff like that. You mean, you should see her face. She's bloody broken open like an egg. Because old master wasn't pleased with her, but he, let's just say, he gave her a bit of a gentle nudge to drive her to the breaking point. Ah, uh, I see. So, so she can't talk because she has no face, technically? <laughs> well, she can speak, but... Knowing her, she doesn't want me to interrupt her. Isn't that right, Poppet? Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, well, we do have a new master. Oh, and who would this new master be? Well, let me put it like this way. He'll only converse with you if, or if not, I mentioned him. He'd like to be known as unknown for now. If you really are interested, ask me again. That or I can cut off your head in the process while I'm telling you his story. Oh, I'd like to see you try. Well, because you're in that much of a mood, I'll tell you his name is Wilma. I feel like you two would get along, actually. Maybe, but I will say if he does try to get in the way of my plans, Oh, well, I will just say a quick death might not be an option. So if you gotta get past me and Poppet here, we're mostly his bodyguards, better yet, his new children, to protect him. But I don't see you have any loyal subjects like him. Hmm? <laughs> I don't have loyal subjects. I have people who fear me. I mean, get on, bushy tails. So, you said this is your new master, correct? Oh, yes. Let's just see. Like I said before, he's a real... That playful, word, colorful word that I've learned. He's a real asshole, mate. A bit of a cruel man. But... Luckily... I did dispose of him afterwards. Oops. Never thought I'd hear the day when an actual creation fought back against the master. Well, let's just say the poor fool had it coming. At a quick drink, at a quick 
part of adding some snake venom, a bit of rat poison as well, and you have yourself a very fine taste of my cocktail of death. You should try it. It's love to see you dabbing on your last bit of air. Well, it does sound delicious. I don't think that kind of stuff is for me. If you do anyway, then, you know, being all terrifying and soft made. I mean, really, all you just spend on just talking to us villains. Do you have fun at this? Or is there more something more devious than that, mate? Well, when I'm not entertaining myself with you fools, I'm going about my time finding new ways to destroy every single universe out there. Well, me and Poppy are both assassins, mate. Or oh, Poppy and I'm going to do take care of a, sh of a perfect snipe. Me, I'm all the cool stuff combat person myself. I'm actually make it worth a good deal. Ain't that right, Papa? Well, while I will admit you two do seem to be very talented, I prefer to take people out on my own terms. Oh, like torturing to death? Boiling them with motor oil? Skinning them alive? Looking at their eyes and actually eating them for once? Instead of bringing their skulls and stomping on their heads over and over again, to the point they stop breathing. Well, there was the one time I turned the two cup rows, as I hear they're called, against each other. Ay, nay, is it a stupid mud child and a stupid brother? <laughs> Actually, what thought they would make a nice? Companions for the devil, won't you agree? Uh, unfortunately, in the still version of ours, they at least get along with the devil and make it much more difficult to fight each other one-on-one -on -one because one of the others is always there to back them up. Ugh, the silver person sounds like a complete idiot. You know the devil isn't a saint. He just, he's down there for a reason. Guarding those and judging those who can't go up to heaven. And my state is quite an enjoyable time. I would love to go down there again with Master again. Seeing those souls he has killed. You know, he's been there one time, you know. Talking with the devil. Well, Oh, well, version of the devil. Talking about a new s- Talking about how he can use necromancy for fun. Oh, but I think you would know more about it, wouldn't you, mate? <laughs> well, considering I am a being born from darkness, dark magic is something that just is so natural to me. Oh, Master knows a bit of dark magic. Knows a bit of voodoo magic, shadow magic, necromancy. Made a deal with someone else on the other side to get that power. I think he will take you down as quicker than a man taking, drinking his time with his spear. You would know as much, wouldn't you, Puppet? <laughs> Don't give me that look, mate. You know it. I must say, your master does sound very intriguing. I feel like you two would get off right in the way. Working together, torturing, taking care of the brother if you were interested to do more time with him. But it's fine if you don't. I mean, you don't have time to take care of everyone, wouldn't you? Well, as much as I would love to have him as a quote-unquote companion, I'm afraid I don't do that kind of stuff. If anything, I make deals with other people too well to trick them into thinking I'm a friend. 
I see you do the same thing what Master does. And I say about not adding him, I say you're more of a coward. Do you ever fear that one day you would? Oh, this is going to be a silly thing to talk. Run over you? Take over that special little throne, being the most powerful part of you? I mean, really. That's really dumb and pathetic that you really fear that. I thought you'd have some sense of... nobility. No, I'm talking big. Papa would agree with me on that, but... Oh, wait. You can't, can you, mate? No. Okay. Nice now. You keep doing that, you're gonna break my arm again. You know Master won't be happy with that. If you think I'm fearful, then you're wrong. I just don't want anybody else getting in the way of my plans. I've had too many dark souls decide to turn to the side of good because they think what I'm doing is so terrible to those innocent souls. Tell um, someone else I want to know. Ah, oh, such a shame, really. They were really fun to play with. Just those positive creators, they have a strange way of manipulating things to their favor. Kova, Mirai, Kova. She really is an annoying girl. Thinking that she can have things her way, but no, 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 no. She acts like a child, then an adult. <laughs> It was fun breaking her arm, so she couldn't create anymore. Instead of stealing her eyesight, stealing her vocal cords, killing them like a guitar while she's screaming in pain. Or, probably I can just... <laughs> her away. Well, there are so many things I would love to do to Silver. Unfortunately, because our souls are technically connected, anything I do to her, it affects me. So, until I can find a way to break that link, I'm afraid she has to live. <laughs> Looks like you have the bad half of her then. <laughs> in the heart. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> that gave me quite a laugh. Oh. Mm. Okay. Mm. Keep going, keep going, my lady. <laughs> and people wonder why I don't socialize with the creation. Silver's quote unquote dark side, but she's really the reason I even exist at all. Oh, that would be the day when she, she just erased you away, now wouldn't she? Be like a lost forgotten memory till she comes up with a better version of you. Oh, how fun it'd be just torturing that little mind of hers. To the breaking point, giving her that ideas to do, like. Oh, I don't know how to put this ending at all, or something like that. Unfortunately, she can't get rid of me, and I can't get rid of her. Maybe after this recording, you would like my master could help you out with the night with a concoction. My own self without her thinking. Thinking, I think that would help you out a lot. As or pop it. Take care of her for you or me. I do know how to make some really good poisons, set a few traps for her. For that, or I can buy her 
don't know. What were you? A chipmunk or a squirrel? What were you again? Mm. Oh yes, a wolf after her. Unless your ears are broken, I already stated anything that happens to her happens to me because our souls are technically bound by that cursed yin yang symbol she bears around her neck. Puppet, cancel that idea. We're not gonna do that. Anyway, do you have anything else? Your furriness? I'm afraid not. Your constant annoying behavior is starting to hurt my head. Besides, I have universes I need to take care of anyway. Call that a migraine, you bloody idiot. Fine then, if you're so smart, you are giving me a migraine. And I'm afraid that if I do not leave, I'm going to have to blast you into a million pieces. Nuh-uh-uh, Master would be very upset with you. You wouldn't want me, would you, pussycat? Well, I am not scared of you, Master. The last thing I need is another dark entity trying to fight me. Hmm. I already have the devil to do that, and he's an annoyance as it is. You monkey by now. Maybe for Mr. Kaiser Macaron, was it? But for Silver, he just constantly is able to stop my armies from getting actually anywhere near Inkwell. Hmm. I heard Inkwell Hell is pretty good over the years. But what can you do? I'm not even part of your stupid universe. In our own universe, to go murders. Oh, I can't wait to go murdering again. It's been a while. Well, I will say this. You two do sound really talented. I'll have to keep you in mind if I ever need somebody's help. Perfect. And do contact us by our master. He wouldn't like it if we just ran off without his consent. I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. But with that said, I'm afraid I must leave now to take care of matters of my own. Take care of your migraine too, you bloody ignorant. Yes, I'm sure a couple rounds of killing my minions will help soothe my headache. Play mate, exactly. Alright, puppet. Enough chatting around with this skunk wad. We need to go back to all of them. Well, Lady Skunky, time's been unpleasant, yet pleasant with you. I hope you do whatever God knows what you're doing. Be careful if our paths ever cross again. I might not be in such a charitable mood. Is that a threat? No, it's just a fact. I'll take your word as a compliment. Bop it. Let's go. And to all the creators out there, just remember, your shadow is the worst thing you have to fear.